What's up guys, Rex 34 back with another epic video. This one is going to be one of our best yet, the 20,000 subscriber special. We're opening some of the rarest packs in Yu-Gi-Oh. These are the rarest packs in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a couple other sets you could add to this category, but these are the most rare. We have first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. We have Retro Pack 1, Retro Pack 2. Here's a couple of blisters of Retro Pack 2. That's six more packs. Then we have Heavy Champion Pack 1 packs that contain Metamorphosis, they contain Book of Moon. They contain Night Assailant, Sakuretsu Armor, all huge, expensive, old-school GOAT cards that we can pull, and they're heavy, so they're guaranteed to have one of those four or um, Satellite Cannon. So here we go. This is going to be absolutely insane. So first of all, I want to thank you guys for 20,000 subscribers. I never thought we'd be here, but we are, so it's pretty cool. I figured I'd bring you guys an epic video. I spent over $8,000 on all this stuff. I think it was like closer to 9000 that was including the light packs of the champion pack two, uh, the champion pack one as well. It really wasn't just this stuff, but it was over eight thousand five hundred dollars, nearly nine thousand. So pretty crazy. I spent a lot on this. I've been sitting on it for a while. I'm super excited to open it. But before we get started, the giveaway for this video is a nice one. We have twelve packs of Legacy of the Valiant, twelve packs of Lord Attack Yon Galaxy. Also, we have five hollows. We have Dark Hole from LOB, Celtic Guardian from LOB. Mask of Restrict from Labyrinth of Nightmare. We've got a Seven Tools of the Bandit from Metal Raiders. And a Secret Rare, Judgment of Anubis from Dark Crisis. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see for my next sub-special. We last talked, well, I'm talking about big time one, not like every thousand. Like we did the 10,000, we opened all, every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! For this one, we're opening the rarest packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! What do you want to see next time? Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. And I also want to remind you guys to check out my TCG Play and eBay affiliate links below. If you guys want to support the channel, all you have to do is click the, the link below. Buy whatever you're going to buy on eBay or TCG Player and it supports my channel. I appreciate it. Now let's get into the opening. I'm super nervous about this, guys. It might be a little bit longer because there is like packaging in Retro Pack. You know, we got to get them out of these crazy blisters. I'll show you guys them when we get when we get to those. But let's go ahead and start off with this loose Retro Pack 2 pack. I'm gonna make sure we're recording because after the 10k and that disaster, we don't want that to happen again. Okay, everything looks like it's good to go. We're recording the video. Retro pack two. We're gonna start with the loose pack. This one is loose, so um, you know, if we don't pull anything, I'm not surprised. It's loose. You know, we're just going for it. There are some epic commons and rares in here as well. So already starting off with Call of the Haunted, so that's a good one. Mad Sword Beast. Dark Room of Nightmare. Guys, obviously we want to pull Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. That's our goal from the Retro Pack 2. Probably not going to happen. There's a Gamma. That is a rare. So we're starting off with a rare. Book of Taiyu. Milk of the Four Face Beast and Bazoo the Soul Eater. Yeah, of course, there is, you know, the chances of pulling like something crazy is pretty low because we only have five booster packs of LOB. But we're going to hold on hope. That is why we do have heavy here. So we're going to start off with one of these. It is guaranteed to have a foil based on the weight. So let's see. Obviously, guys, the light packs were sold. You know, some of them were sold as light, not as heavy or unweight. So just, if you're worried about that, don't worry about it. I would not do that. So here we go. I can't, I don't know where the foil is going to be. Is it going to be on the front? Like, I don't know which way they go. Oh, there it was. Okay, wait. I think that was a common, I think. I think it was a common. So let's, here we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, no, it wasn't. That was not a common. This is a big hit. Book of Moon. It's like a $400 to $500 super rare. Let's be really careful here. Champion pack one. That is a very good start with those. Book of Moon. Nice centering. I don't know if I should... Okay, this one looks extremely nice. Maybe I will grade it. If they look gradable, I'll probably grade them. If not, I'm going to throw them in my goat deck, possibly. What? <laughs> Which I probably shouldn't do with a $500 card. But um, it'd be like more of a show goat deck where I don't actually play with it. Book of Moon. That's a good one. So that's there's a little bit of our eight thousand five hundred dollars back. Probably not gonna make make it there, but pretty cool. Book of Moon. It is heavy, so you know you know we know that they're coming. We know that the foils are coming at least. We don't know which ones. Like, like satellite cannons, by far the worst. So we don't really want to hit that. Okay, Book of Moon. Where am I gonna put these? I'm gonna put that right there, so we don't like damage anything. All right, let's go ahead and open up this retro pack two. We're gonna save retro pack one for a little bit later because there's only one pack of it. So. The chances of pulling something is low, but you can pull some crazy stuff like Scapegoats Ultra Rare. You can pull, what is it? The Harpy, I think it's a Harpy something that's like super crazy. Why can't I remember the name? There's Amazonas Chain Masters in there as well. Here we go. Let's get out these Retro Pack 2 packs. We do have a promo, which actually looks like it's minty. That, that's nice. It's not bent up at all. We get a green baboon. 
You can also pull the green baboon out of here without the limited edition, by the way, and that's a super rare card. So if we pull that, that's actually like worth a lot, which is funny because the promo version is worth like a dollar. Okay, let's get rid of that packaging. It's kind of sad to rip up that packaging, but we gotta do it. Okay, so we got our Retro Pack 2 packs. These are obviously unweighed because they are, you know, in there. Yeah, they're unweighed because they were in a blister, so you can't really weigh out of there. Okay, let's see if we can pull something good. Can we pull a blue eyes shining dragon, guys? That would be absolutely crazy. Any secret rare is crazy, really. I mean, you can pull Jinzo out of here as well. Make sure you check out my video where we did pull some pretty epic stuff out of Retro Pack 2. Premature Burial, Gravity Bind. Yada is a common in here. It's actually like a two, three dollar card, so that's really nice. Hinokage Suchi is a super rare. You can barely tell, I just know it's a super rare. But I mean, even when I do this, you can barely tell it's a super rare. That's a weird thing about Retro Pack. The uh, supers and ultras, it's pretty tough to tell. Let's put our Yada over there. We got a Hinokage Suchi. Super rare, so that is nice. I'm not complaining about that. Not a very expensive card, but still really cool. Okay, we are still recording. I'm going to be paranoid this whole time about recording. Okay, so we've done that. Maybe we should go into LOB pack, guys. Should we save them all for last? No, let's go into one. Okay, so check out these crazy blisters. I mean, they're just insane. They're super weird, super cool. I know that you can get foils out of them because someone also bought some and they got a foil. So, obviously, the number one goal, we got to get the scissors. This is a little scary. It's a little sad to cut this thing up, but you can't. The Blue Eyes White Dragon in first edition LOB is absolutely insanely priced. I hate this packaging. This is how they used to package toys and stuff back in the day. It was just absolutely killer. Okay. Yeah, Blue Eyes White Dragon from LOB. Oh, there we go. We just threw that off the edge. I don't know if that made it on the camera or not, but let's see if we can uh, pull this out like this. Okay. It has been folded up like that, so I'm hoping that didn't damage, you know, whatever potential foil is in there hopefully there is okay any foil is great ultra rare is fantastic and then if you get one of the big four including exodia head you know dark magician all that stuff that's insane and then if we pull like a pot of greed that'd be great too i haven't opened first edition lob since the 10k special open one pack and then we opened the blue eyes white dragon you know the booster box before that okay here we go, guys. I'm super nervous about this. This is first edition LOB. We got to put these cards in their own pile because even the commons are worth a lot. So we're probably going to sleep these up afterward. Spike Cedra. Oh my goodness. Check out those glossy cards. Yeah, they are glossy. They're not wavy. Whew, Mammoth Graveyard. That's a good one. Firegrass. Come on, guys. Whew, this is where we need the luck. Dark World Thorns. And Spirit of the Harp. Okay, so we got a rare in the first one. We're definitely sleeping it up though, because even in PSA 10, these rares are like over 100 bucks, so they're they're pretty pricey. They're pretty good. Then we got a man eater. Let's see what else we got. Remove trap, Silver Grew Grotto, and a monster egg. So those are all good cards. First edition LOB. I'm going to, for now, I'm going to put them all in one sleeve, and then after the video, I'm going to go back and sleeve them up. So don't freak out, guys. I will sleeve those cards. All right. So LOB needs to go in its own pile. All right. Let's go to Retro Pack 2. So not not the LOB, you know, foil off of the bang star that I was hoping for, but that's okay. Oh, we've got um, Spirit Message in. Oh, wow. Okay. Spirit Message in. Can we pull something? Oh, Book of Moon, guys. This Book of Moon's been printed so many times, but Retro Pack 1 is the most valuable version, so that's pretty cool. Skull Invitation. Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. It's a nice common. It's not the blue eyes from the LOB, but it's as good as you're gonna get. No way, no way, no way, no way. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my goodness. This is one of my best pulls ever. Blue eyes shining dragon. What's the centering look like? It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. No way. Oh my goodness. Okay, is it scuffed on the back or is that, is that the sleeve? Okay, that's the sleeve. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder what Chelsea's thinking downstairs if she heard that. She's cooking right now, so she's probably like, did he pull? She probably thinks I pulled the first edition Blue Eyes. That's okay. Blue. Oh, we pulled a Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is insane. Oh, Rhyme Style's going to be so jealous. I can't wait for him to see this. I'm probably going to tell him before I post it. But 
Maybe, no, I'm, I'm not telling him. I'm not telling him. Okay. Oh my goodness. Blue eyes. <laughs> okay, guys. That's what I. That's what I was hoping. We have the heavy pack, so I was like, I know we're gonna get some good cards. So I just want to get one, you know, good pull. I just wanted a good pull. I didn't even want a great pull. That's a great pull. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I wonder if that could have been from Petty Party's blister. He sold me one, and the guy he knew sold me another one. So he's gonna be salty because he's gonna assume it's from his. So. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Follow it up with a champion pack, heavy pack. And we know the foils at the front, guys. I'm like shaking. I'm shaking. We still have four first edition LOB. We still have five retro pack twos. Like, oh my gosh. We pulled two foils out of those, that retro pack two blister. It had a Hinokage Tsuchi and it had and it had the Shining. It had the Shining Dragon. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I've been sitting on that, like, that pack's been sitting on my shelf for weeks. Okay, here we go. Okay, the next, the other card we want is Metamorphosis. The main other card. I mean, we want the other ones as well, but Metamorphosis is big now. It's gone way up. It's like 500, 600. Okay, Thunder Kid. Kyger. <laughs> King Tiger Wong Hu. Oh, Sakuretsu Armor. Okay, that's a good one. Sakuretsu Armor is good. It is... It's about the same as Night Assailant in terms of value, but I don't own this one. I do know I do own Night Assailant, obviously, on Book of Moon now because we pulled it. So now I have this one. The only one I don't have Metamorphosis. I have a PSA 10 of the of the uh, Satellite Cannon, so I already have that one as well. That guy's super cheap, though, for some reason. The Ultras in Champion Pack are cheap compared to the Supers, which is really... It's kind of odd, but they aren't really playable like these are. So Sakuretsu Armor. Oh, my goodness, guys. We're going to have to do, like, a potential graded price as well to see if we like got close to breaking even because with that shining dragon i'm not sure what they go for now they were at 1300 for like a long time in 10 but then they went up because like everything went up so yeah there you go all right retro pack two we're gonna do it again because we do have seven of these it's the most we have and then we have lob we have five well no we have seven champion packs as well so only one retro pack as well i keep saying as well oh my goodness i'm so hyped okay there's no way there's anything else in this blister there's literally no way light force sword Legendary Ocean. We got a Gillosaurus. Air Knight Parshat. That's a sweet rare. That's a sweet rare. I'm going to put that in the uh, the hit pile. Azura Priest. I mean, there's so many good uh, GOAT cards in here. Because it's just a reprint of all the old sets. So it's all the cards you use in GOAT. This is like a GOAT a goat themed opening. You know, it's like here and here. It's just got all kinds of GOAT. Okay, let's go into one more LOB. Then we're going to hit. I think we'll do one. We'll do this. Then a couple more of these. And then Retro Pack. All right. I'm definitely okay. I'm. Am I gonna cut out me cutting? Uh, okay, that's confusing. But yeah, I'll pro I probably won't cut it out because then you know some people will be like thinking I, you know, lied or something. If I pull a blue eyes or something, then then yeah, you know, they won't believe me. Okay, let's. There it goes. Kind of sad to cut this, as I said before, but you know, got to do what you got to do. Okay, now the goal for this video, now that we've pulled a blue eyes shining dragon, is just pull a foil out of LOB. That's that's the goal here. Okay. That's the goal. Let's do it. I can't believe we pulled that. This is a great video. It doesn't matter what we pull now. This is just gravy. I mean, we're still taking a massive L if we don't pull anything else, but you know. It's all about, you know, making, breaking even. It's super hard to break even on old packs these days when they cost this much. Here we go. Silver bow and arrow. Okay, that one looks, yeah, it's glossy. Petite Angel. Definitely want a pot of greed if we get a rare. That's That would be pretty sweet. Furious Sea King, because it's expensive now. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Mystical Elf. That is a super rare. I do already have this in PSA 9, and this one looks like a PSA 9. But that's a super rare. I'm taking that all day. Super rare. First edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. That is super cool. Centering is definite nine. You can maybe get a nine five at BGS with uh, if if it has good everything else. The centering is definitely not. It's definitely like nine to eight and a half worthy. But that's a foil out of LOB. We cannot complain about that. Nimakuruko, Sogan, and Mystical Sheep. Oh my goodness, we pulled a foil. We're hitting all kinds of goals. We have the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, Mystical Elf. We've hit uh, Book of Moon. Next is Metamorphosis. That's our next goal, I guess. Wow, okay. That was sweet. On to the next champion pack. This 
This is crazy. Okay, this is crazy. Here we go. Rarest packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! being opened right here. Make sure you guys subscribe for future content. We're not done after the rarest packs. We're going to be opening more stuff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Champion pack one. Whew, metamorphosis, come on. Here we go. Final countdown. King Tiger Wang Hu. We pulled that guy like every time. A second Book of Moon. Okay. Okay. Second Book of Moon. That is huge. The centering on these cards is nice. Okay. this is These are actually coming out really clean. That's good to see. Whew. A second Book of Moon. Guys, this is going really well. Okay. We're going to open up one more retro pack. Wait. We got four more of those. No. We're going to open up retro pack. Then we're going to open up the Retro Pack 2. Okay, Retro Pack 1. Not, there, if we pull something out of here, we just have been blessed with really good luck. So, thank you guys again for 20,000 subs. Thank you for watching this video. I mean, it's it's a good one, but uh, yeah, still. Whew. Okay, Harpy Lady. Secret Rares out of Retro Pack are all insane value. So, if we pull one of those, it's really good. Ultra Rares are really good as well. Manga Ryu Ran. Polymerization as a common. I mean, that just looks, it looks really good. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. That's actually a decent one. I think it's like 10 bucks. I've never pulled a foil out of Retro Pack. I've opened now five packs, I think. And we're over. But that's a pretty nice rare. I will take that. Yumi Ruka, Gravekeeper Servant, and Giant Rat. So Retro Pack 1 didn't give us anything, but I'm not complaining right now with how we've done. <laughs> okay. All right. Second Retro Pack 2 Blister. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, we're expressing that blue eyes shining dragon, that's for sure. By the way, I still haven't sent in my Utopia, so it looks like we got a two-card express submission there. Some nice cards to send in. Probably sending those in tomorrow. And I'm hoping that we will get something from LOB or, you know, um, well, I might send in the champion pack cards too. I don't know. I don't know. I might send in some champion pack cards with them as well. Okay, we've got a green baboon. Let's get this uh, out of here. Green baboon, Defender of the Forest. This one is definitely more warped and or bent, one of the two, than the other one. But that's okay. We are still recording, right? Yes, we're still recording. All right, check every few minutes. That it's necessary after the 10K video. If you guys didn't see that, somehow, I mean, it's like my second most watched video, so you've probably seen it. But it was a disaster, but also great. We pulled something epic. Okay. Retro Pack 2, we've already... I can't ask for anything more out of this set, so I'm just going through, you know. If we get anything, I'm happy. Creature Swap. Spirit Message L, that's cool. Ceasefire, those are rare. Spirit Message A. Emergency Provisions. Bottomless at Nobleman. That's very... Such a good card in go format, guys. So good. Okay. We're down to... Okay, we got four packs of Champion Packs, so it's time to open another one of those. So far, we've hit two Book of Moon and Sakuretsu Armors, which is incredible. Metamorphosis. The goal would be a metamorphosis here. Okay. Hopefully we will pull one. There is a chance that we don't because there are still three. There are two packs unaccounted for out of this box. Well, they're accounted for. They're just not opened, and they're and I don't own them. So. And it's not all. You know, sometimes you get the card, sometimes you don't. You just oh wait, whoops. Okay, I don't need to be touching that card. All right, here we go. My body as a shield. It's a sweet card. Mysterious guard. Okay, here we go. Give us something good. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Check out. Oh my goodness, these cards are clean. These cards have PSA 10 chances. Legit. Legit PSA 10 chances, which is crazy. Oh my goodness. Metamorphosis. Oh my goodness, this video is, is awesome. This video is going so well. All right, what do we want to do? Do we want to open up another LOB? I think we do. We are one for two on LOB. We have pulled. This video is 20 minutes in. I'm sorry it's taking a long time. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. We're probably premiering it, to be honest. We're definitely premiering it. I mean, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. You guys are going to flip out at that. But, uh, yeah, we've already hit a foil out of here. So, one for two is really good out of LOB. So, if we even hit, if we hit two foils, then we are, we're, we're in great shape. That's awesome. All right. Whew. Here we go. Legend of Blue Eyes First Edition. My hands are getting very uh, nervous. By the way, no, I'm not wearing gloves. 
Gloves are actually not, they're actually not better to wear, which is, it's kind of weird, but yeah. People, these people that uh, wrote an article about people that work in a museum with ancient documents don't use gloves. So I was like, these aren't even ancient documents. They're 20 year old cards. So I can wear, I can use no, I can use no gloves. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Two mouth dark ruler. Here we go. Hinotama. Armored starfish. Okay. This is the moment of truth guys. A dark fire dragon, actually one of the better rares, so that's nothing to complain about. Pretty expensive in first edition LOB, I think. Pretty nice centering too, so I'm definitely going to grade these rares in commons because they are expensive. And yeah, that's a good one, so I'll take that. So we got ourselves a nice dark fire dragon. What else did we get in the pack? Dissolve rock, wasteland, larvas, and basic insect. Whew. All right, two more LOB packs. We got three more champion pack ones. And we have Retro Pack 2. Okay, let's go into Champion Pack so we can even it out. This glare is not very good right there. All right, so now we've pulled. The only one we haven't pulled is Night Assailant. I do have it, and it's from this box. Um, somebody had opened it, so. It's possible there's another one. I mean, we saw there was two Book of Moons. I mean, the crazy thing would be another Metamorphosis. Somehow a third Book of Moon. I highly doubt that. I think it could be a second Metamorphosis. Well, okay, we did see, we did see... What was it? Four Hydrogedons in that Champion Pack 4 opening? So if you can get four of those, you can get... I guess you can get four Book of Moons. That would be pretty insane. Okay, here we go. Emissary of the Afterlife. Stealth Bird. And... Another Sakuretsu. That's a good one. I will take two Sakuretsus. That's pretty epic. Very nice condition, it looks like. From what I can tell. I don't want to keep him out of the sleeve too long. The centering has been super good. Wait, is that something on there? Ooh, we might have some little ding right there. I can't tell. I think we have possibly a ding on that card. Or is that just on the surface? I can't tell. I'll check it out later. If it is, goat deck it is. Going into the goat deck. That's pretty cool. Sakuretsu armor. That's okay. If that one's the one that's dinged, it's, that's fine. All right. Retro pack two. Because everybody plays, you know, everybody plays Sakuretsu armor and goat. So it's definitely good. I mean, everybody plays Book of Moon too, but... It doesn't hurt as bad when it's a $200 card rather than a four or five, six hundred dollars card. All right, retro pack two. We already pulled Blue Eyes Shining. If we pull another secret, I'm gonna lose my mind. Yada Garasu. That's actually tough to pull. Book of Moon always. <sighs> Ultra rare Hell Palmer. This is not a very expensive card, but we did hit Ultra, Super, and Secret. We hit all the rarities in Retro Pack Two, and of course, rare in common. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I've pulled this guy before, so that's the second time. That's pretty sweet. Man, we're hitting foils in Retro Pack. I've opened in like entire blisters and got nothing, and both of our blisters have had stuff, so that's really cool. Yada Grasso goes over there. All right. We're going to do another champion pack. We're going to end with a Legend of Blue Eyes, so we're going to do another champion pack. And we're hoping for Metamorphosis. We can get, you know, we can get all of them, but these are very, like, difficult to open. Okay, there we go. You got to really, they don't really split very well right there. Gotta be really, I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but you got to be careful not to ruin the cards as well. It's okay if it bends over like that. It didn't really do any damage. Just got to be careful on the corners. You want to get enough room that it doesn't nick the corners on the way out. All right. Here we go. Thunder Kid. Okay, we're all still recording, so it's good. My body is a shield. All right, Metamorphosis. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Metamorphosis, guys. Wow, we did really well with these champion packs. Wow, that is so cool. Two, cha two champion pack, one metamorphosis. Two champion pack, one book of moon. Two champion pack, Sakuratsu armor. So this one I'm guessing is going to be Night Assailant or the ultra rare uh, satellite cannon. That's what I'm guessing. Four packs left in this opening. This has been a longer opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've definitely enjoyed taking my time on it. I know Chelsea's getting hungry down there. So I'm not going to hurry, but I'm definitely not going to... <laughs> take too much time here. I don't want to take your time all day. I don't want Chelsea to be hungry. She told me I could though. She said, take your time. I was like, all right, cool. Oh, there we go. Yeah. This is like running into my PSA slabs right there. All right. Yeah. Maybe we can get some PSA 10 champion pack one cards to go with that champion pack two edition of faith, which did get a 10, which is sweet. All right. 
Legend of Blue Eyes. Come on, can we get one more foil? That's my that's my hope here. Is one more foil out of LOD. I mean, it can even be a super. But an Ultra would be super cool. It would be super cool. Because I still need a lot of Ultras in PSA 10. I think I need eight of them for my set. I mean, I only have two. And then I have some nines. Like, my Red Eyes I pulled got a nine, unfortunately. All right, Power of Kaishin. Petite Angel. The Furious Sea King. One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Okay. Come on, guys. Luck. Here we go. Giant Soldier of Stone. It's a rare. Just a Giant Soldier of Stone. But that's okay. Still a good one. I mean, it's a good rare. Let's put that. Am I putting those up there? All right. Rest of the pack. King Fog. Beaver Warrior. That's a good one. Petite Dragon. And Rewater. Gotta love the Beaver Warrior. All right. Let's sleeve up these commons. All right. One pack of each left. Let's do Retro Pack 2 first. Then we'll go into the last champion pack. And then the final LOP pack. Maybe we can get some last pack magic. Like that booster box I opened. Whew. Yeah, it's going to be tough to top that. But that would be pretty crazy. Gravekeeper Spy. Nice common. Gotta love that one. Life Force Sword. Curse of the Mass Beast. Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. That's cool. Reckless Greed. Gemini. Tremendous A. And Dust Tornado. Okay. Retro Pack 2 just has some really nice cards. Retro Pack 2 really is... It has been awesome in this video, so I don't have anything to complain about there. Champion pack one, guys. I probably said guys a lot. I, I know I say that a lot, so I apologize, but here we go. Make sure you guys subscribe for future content, and I appreciate all you guys watching this video. It's been a lot of fun. Oops. Don't want to ruin it. Here we go. Is it going to be... What's it, put your bets in. What's it going to be, guys? Which, which foil is it going to be? Champion pack one. I never thought I'd open much of this, and I got to open seven heavy packs, which is pretty cool. Here we go. Medora. Mysterious Guard. And a Knight Assailant. That was incredible. We got some really good cards out of Champion Pack 1. Knight Assailant. Woo! That is so cool. Epic card. Why did I leave this over here? I don't know. Okay. We're down to one final pack, guys. We're down to one final pack. We've pulled absolutely insane in this video. Absolutely insane. Whew, absolutely insane. I just, I can't believe it. If we pull an ultra out of here, that's the only way we can top what we've done already. But I am very content with how it's gone. Compared to the 10K where we, we pulled some good cards, but we definitely didn't pull that great from what we could, like the potential. I think we've done pretty good for the potential. It's been pretty awesome. So the last pack, this is first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Who knows the next time I'll open it. Hopefully I'll get to open it again. Who knows what the price is, but here we go. Whew, potential Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is, you know, an insanely expensive card. That would be, that would just be like a dream come true to pull that. Any foil though is good. I'm excited about any foil. Here we go. Whew, Hitatsumi Giant. We've got a Follow Wind. Nice card. Silver Bow and Arrow. I think those are like short prints. Those are quick cards. Petite Angel. Our last chance at a foil. Can we pull a big one? Oh, focus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it bright? Is that is that a sign? Is that a sign? We're about to pull something good? No, it's a flower wolf. Okay. That's okay, though. We did pull a foil, which is nice. What is up with this sleeve? That's crazy. Okay, flower wolf. And we got Larvis, basic insect, rain temperature. Oh, book of secret arts. That's a really nice one. Okay, so we got some good stuff out of LOB. We didn't hit the home run out of LOB like I was hoping we would, but we did hit some good stuff. All right, let's go over what we did get in the video. From Retro Pack 2, we pulled Yada Grasu, Air Knight Parshath, Hinu Kagisuchi, Hell Palmer, two Grain Baboons, and of course, probably the hit of the video. Okay, definitely the hit of the video. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. <laughs> Where's the top loaders? Give me the top loader. Come on. Let's grab one. Let's just go ahead and top loader it now. So nothing happens. Blue eyes, shining dragon. My goodness, that was insane. For LOB first edition, for the rares we pulled, Spirit of the Harp, Giant Soldier of Stone, Dark Fire Dragon, Flower Wolf, and a one hollow mystical elf. That's pretty cool that we did pull a hollow. Pretty excited that we did that. That's pretty awesome. And we got all the commons, of course, so those are all nice. And then for champion pack one, Night Assailant, two Sakuretsu Armors, two Book of Moon, and two Metamorphosis. So that was big value out of there as well. That was fun to get all those 
epic goat cards. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was awesome and insane. I hope that we'll be able to do something like this again in the future. I think we will. I think we'll do something just as epic. I want to pull something more epic out of LOB next time. We've completed Retro Pack. We did it. Retro Pack 2. Retro Pack 1. We got we to gotta gripe with that. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks again for 20,000 subscribers. I really appreciate all you guys watching and subscribing. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. It's the original art. Yes! Yes! I think Galaxy actually...